Hello everybody, so my name is Amelia and I am a second year medical student at Holyoke Medical School. So in this video today I'm going to be talking about what medical school is actually like, the sessions that you attend and how it is taught. Because nobody talks about how medical school is taught. I literally had no clue how medical school was taught when I first started. So I thought I'd make a video today on all those things to kind of give you an insight into what medical school is actually like because it is something everybody wants to know before they actually start. So that is the video today. If that is something you're interested, please keep on watching. So one thing I would like to mention before we get started is what I'm going to be talking about is my personal experience with medical school. I'm in my second year now. So the first two years of medical school and my experience of medical school and basically how my first two years has been taught. But every medical school is taught very similar but there will be differences and tweaks as well so it's definitely a video to give you an insight but don't expect your medical school to be exactly the same but the sessions will be similar because everyone has to learn anatomy everyone has to learn clinical skills everyone has to learn the content also to mention this is for the first two years of medical school in the uk you have your pre-clinical years and your clinical years the first two years in most medical schools in the uk are your pre-clinical years obviously i'm in second year i've not started my clinical years yet so this is my experience up to second year and the first two years of medical school so next year it'll be completely different for me and the third year it'll be completely different so i've rambled on enough now so let's get started with the video so i'm basically gonna run through all the aspects of the course and what they are so first up we have lectures this is a very obvious one obviously most university courses in the uk have lectures if you don't know what a lecture is it's basically a teaching of the subject from a specialist who's delivering that information and teaching you about the subject so it's basically the equivalent to like classes in school but obviously a bigger scale more people attend them and it's not as interactive but at my medical school i have four to seven lectures a week this is very variable across all the medical schools because everyone delivers their content differently. As I said, I go to Hull York Medical School and we'll move on to the main form of teaching in a minute for Hull York Medical School, but we obviously do have lectures as well. We do get a bulk of our content through lectures and every single lecture we have has learning objectives. So these are aims and things that we need to know from the lecture, information that we need to gather. The lecture will cover a baseline of information that we need to know about and then it's kind of our job to do extra reading and extra research. I'm just gonna shut the door because it's gotten really noisy outside right our lectures are delivered in person but some of them are pre-recorded so some of them aren't in-person lectures but the ones that are in person we are expected to go and watch the ones that are in person are actually recorded as well so you can watch them back after you've watched them in person if you want to revisit the information that you've been taught okay moving on to pbl so this is the second way our content is delivered at medical school um so holyoke medical school is a problem-based learning medical school problem-based learning is basically where you work in small groups to tackle problems or medical conditions and come up with learning objectives and use that as a learning resource. So our PBL is split into two sessions per week. So we have the first session, which is the pickup session. That is basically where we get given the case. We first start by defining any words that we don't know, getting our head around it, understanding the case. We then go on to figure out what the problems are with the case. Um, we brainstorm, we use any knowledge that we have. A big part of problem-based learning is trying to bring out knowledge that you have, but you don't realise you have a lot of the time you actually do know things about scenarios or conditions without even realizing so that is a big focus on problem-based learning and then we use that knowledge as a group collectively to come up with some learning objectives that we want to learn from the case we then go away and then in the next pbl session we have for that week we um come together with all the knowledge we've learned and share it and feed it back in whatever way it is being fed back for that week but that is basically the general overview of pbl so as i said Hoyot medical school is a pbl based medical school so that is a, how a bulk of the content is delivered it is still a split between lecture based medical schools and pbl based medical schools but a lot of them are actually moving towards pbl based learning the next form of learning that we have the next sessions that we have are anatomy sessions so this is very very variable across every medical school in the uk and just probably in the world anatomy is taught so differently in all the medical schools 
It can be taught by dissection, um, prosection, just models, clinical models, very differently. So it's definitely something to research on how anatomy is taught at medical school because that could be a make or break on whether you want to go to a medical school. At Hull York Medical School, anatomy is taught by prosection. So before anatomy, we get given a workbook and then we have to be able to identify all the anatomical structures on that workbook before we go into the anatomy lab for our anatomy session. During our anatomy session then that's where we're basically just practicing on being able to identify the structures on the real thing and that is how anatomy is delivered at my medical school. It's also examined very differently at all medical schools as well so I know a lot of medical schools actually incorporate anatomy exams into the end of year exams our anatomy has its own exam and the exam is done in the anatomy lab where we have the same pro sections that we've been learning from all year and we have to be able to identify the structures in the exam. So that is also another thing to research when I find medical schools on how anatomy is delivered and kind of work out what would work for you and your learning style. So the next session we have is a clinical skills session and that is a session to be able to help you to develop your clinical skills obviously so like your history taking skills your examination skills, your investigation skills and your gathering information skills, all skills that you're going to be expected to have as a doctor. That is what these sessions are working on and working on developing. So we have two clinical skills sessions a week. These are actually one of my favourite sessions. We basically have simulated patients come in so basically fake patients and fake scenarios but they come in and it does feel very real and this is a very safe environment to be able to practice your clinical skills in a safe environment and obviously work on improving your clinical skills we then have placement so obviously this is in pre-clinical years that i'm talking about as i mentioned at the start of the video and one thing to note is that placement is another very variable way of teaching across all the medical schools so in some medical schools you go on placement for maybe three weeks in second year or three weeks in first year it's very different at my medical school we go on placement once a week for the first two years so we're on placement every single week once a week for the first two years and then we then obviously move on to our clinical years and are on placement all the time so our placement at Hull York Medical School for the first two years is basically just about feeling comfortable in the clinical setting, just practicing the skills that we're learning in clinical skills, being able to take histories and gather information from the patients and do examinations and just really get in our confidence up. That is mainly the focus of the first two years of placement for us at our medical school. It's just about gaining confidence. The next form of teaching at my medical school is workshops. So most of our workshops are in person and this is just a really interactive way of delivering information and teaching information and making sure everyone is engaged. So it's usually more interactive methods of teaching. Um, we don't actually have workshops very often, maybe like once or twice a block, if that we'll have a workshop, but it's not the main focus on how our content is taught, but we do have them here and there. The next form of teaching is our SSIP project. So every year at medical school, at my medical school, we have to do a research project, which is the SSIP research project. And we basically get given a list of topics that we can research. And then once we've chosen one, we work with a specialist in that field to do research. And the research can be conducted in many different ways. It can be lab-based, it could be a literature review. There's many different ways of the research being done. I actually don't know all of them. You have to have taken part in some sort of research to graduate medical school in the UK according to the GMC and their guidelines. So that is how content is taught at medical school and in particular Hull York Medical School. So I really hope that's been helpful in giving you a little bit of an insight into what medical school is actually like and how the content is taught because I completely understand it's a very scary area and you just don't know what you're doing and you don't know what to expect is the main thing. You never know what to expect. So I hope that's given you a little bit of an insight on how medical school is taught, what is taught and what to expect when you start medical school and how the courses run. So I really hope that's been helpful. If it has been helpful, I would really love it if you would like and comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Yeah.